Hi, I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography. This is a new episode of Review It with Tom Miggett. Uh, you guys have sent me 14 exposures to review. Thank you very much for that. And um, I've seen some comments as well uh, in last week's episode and uh, the video on YouTube, and that was that was really great. I, I love seeing your uh, your feedbacks and uh, and what you think about the exposures as well. So fantastic, keep it going. Um, so let's start, shall we? Okay, so um, we've got a new um, a new submitter this week, uh, Bob Z, um, and he's sent a couple of very interesting uh, exposure, starting with this one, um, the seagull. Um, I quite like it, you know. Uh, it's uh, straight away. What do we think when we see this? There is, I'm thinking south of England for some reason. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about Brighton. Yeah. I'm thinking about Brighton uh, just simply because of the hill at the back. I don't know if Bob's is in Brighton or even in the UK, uh, but that's what I, reminds me. Um, I quite like it. Very sharp on the wings. Uh, really, really good. Uh, nice composition. Nice aperture value uh, because the background is not disturbed, disturbing and we can still see where it is. Uh, and I, I really do. The only comment I would say on this one is maybe about the crop. Uh, you know what I think about um, having your subject right in the center. Uh, and well, on this one, it's a little bit on the center. And I like the fact that it's actually looking on the right and there's a lot of space on the right. However, uh, Bob, let me know what you think of this. It's subtle, right? It's very, very subtle. Uh, I didn't crop that much, just a tiny bit. But what you see here is that if I actually bring the lines right, you can see that the bird is slightly uh, now on the uh, cross section, which is something that I quite like. Uh, back to the original, you see, it's not much difference, but the head, look at the head, it's slightly higher, closer to the left. And um, well, that's what I would have done. So I'm looking forward to your feedback on this. Um, next one, oh, by the way, what, what kind of, uh, f4.5 yeah f4.5 was good choice here uh again uh because it was pretty close shot with what 70 millimeter okay bring the background uh closer kind of compress it a bit uh hence the bokker so really really nice shot here uh, next one that's a very interesting one um some may argue well why is it interesting well it's interesting not so much for the subject but more of how that exposure has been captured. Um, Bobsy did mention in his description that this was shot with, I believe, a Nifty 50 uh, reversed. Uh, is that what it said? Uh, let me just double check, because uh, I think that's what it said. Uh, this was shot with a reverse kit lens. Okay, my bad. Kit lens, so what is a reversed kit lens? What you can find on the internet is a ring that will screw on instead of the filter on your lens and what it is is basically um, another mount so you can actually uh, screw your lens backward so the front of the lens is being um, has the, uh, that ring instead of a filter and you screw this in front of your camera body and then what you end up having is uh, kind of a macro lens so there's a lot of photographers out there that do macro photography, and you know that I've just released a video on macro photography. And another um, alternative to uh, buying a very expensive lens is, is actually using a reversed lens. Uh, and that's um, that seems to work quite a lot. I've seen an amazing, there's an amazing video online on YouTube where you see um, a photographer using very rustic uh, gears and managed to get some amazing shots of insects really mind-blowing is somehow it blows it ends up getting a magnification of something around five to even ten times and uh, that really enables you to actually see all the detail of the insect so here's the same principle uh, well the subject is just a light bulb uh, so not so much interest in this uh, but just for the uh, concept and the whole journey to capture this uh, I like it and you know, composition-wise, you know, let's be honest, um, it's it's good. 
it's good. It's centered. You know, you guys heard me saying bad things about a uh, centered subject, but I quite like it. It's centered, but it does deserve to be centered here. So nice uh, job here. I'm not quite. I don't know what's behind. Is that a piece? I don't. I don't know what it is. That's uh, that's the only disturbing bit that I have. I'm not worried too much about the um, the the fact that it's no super sharp because it can't be with a reverse string. Uh, and I quite like the fact that it's not sharp. But that just bit at the back, uh, I don't know what it is. It's a bit disturbing for me. Uh, another one from Bubsy. Uh, I quite. I actually love this one. Uh, I love it. What's the message? Well, uh, I don't know what the message is. It's, it's pretty. Once again, it's kind of a mix of uh, of pattern here. We've got we've got a lot of geometry going on here. We've got lines. We've got um, we've got volumes as well with the buttons. And uh, because of the lack of saturation in the red, uh, it's just it, it's brilliant. The red pops up, and as you see, it's the master. So I, yes, that there, there might be a message here of having you know the master. That's has the full power, right? It doesn't matter how much you you increase all the other channels. Well, if you pump the master, then all the sound goes up. So or reduce it, the, the master is the master. So um, yeah, I quite I quite like it. I'm not um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I, I like the fact that it's a uh, Dutch tilt. I quite I quite like it as well. Um, really, yeah, I interesting. I love it. How is this shot? Uh, okay, it's. 2.8. Well, that, that's, um, I, I love it. Very, very nice one. Eric Gordon, my friend. Um, I love it. I love it, Eric. That's, um, remember the episode on the golden hours I've done, right? And um, that reminds me it, you know, it says it all. Uh, one interesting thing though is that Eric did that with seven frame HDR. So uh, you remember I mentioned HDR the last time as well, uh, and I will do actually it was Eric, uh, if I recall correctly, who did um, a capture of um, I can't remember the band Caledonian something like this. Uh, actually, uh, let me just double check. Uh, that was Clondonian. Clana Donia. Uh, yeah, so Eric was behind this shot and uh, he is again behind this shot. So HDR, but, and this time he did it with seven uh, frame. The interesting thing though is that he said that he used seven frame HDR so the shutter speed uh, changed. Um, okay, so the shutter speed changed because you're changing um, what did you change actually? You did you play with, or did you leave the? How did you do the the the, the seven frames? Did you, so you didn't use bracketing, uh, unless you did bracketing twice, uh, that would give you six exposures. So uh, you probably did it manually. Uh, I'd be curious to know um, what changed between each uh, each frame. Uh, however, the result the result is nice. Uh, what he probably meant by the um, shutter speed being different is, um, so as you can see, the water here, the close water is um, is quite blurred, but it's normal. It's meant to be. It's this type of thing that you get when uh, you do a long exposure uh, and the tide is the the waves are moving and so on. It gives a really nice cotton uh, effect of water. I really suggest you guys do this. Um, I, I totally love it, Eric. It's, it's just it's brilliant. Look at that sun. All the reason in the world to uh, to either get up in the morning or to uh, go at sunset and uh, and capture this because this is this is fantastic. Totally love it. So next one uh, is that shot at the same place? Yes, it is shot at the same place. Uh, I quite like it. It's not it's not the sharpest. It's not the sharpest exposure ever, right? Uh, it's not uh, anything special for this one. Same again, HDR. I'd be curious to know actually, um, why why did you choose HDR? Because um, clearly you could have achieved the same results uh, without HDR. So is it because, I don't know. Um, put your comment down below. I wanna know why you use HDR here. Was it just a trial? Uh, but anyway, the result is it. 
the result is interesting. I mean, those, those colors are really, really good. Um, yeah, a bit grainy, uh, but I don't know how it was edited, which software was used, uh, but please add your comment below. I'll, I'll love to know a bit more about those two exposures. Mario Rossi, what do you say? Girl in red, a bit in the center, how much you like that? <laughs> uh, well, you see, it's exactly like the light bulb, Mario. Um, yes, I do not like subjects when they are in the center where it doesn't, mean, when it's not meant to be. Uh, and here, clearly, where else would you have done it? It's perfect. She's got spread arms and she was meant to be there. Uh, and, okay. One thing, you know, if you really want me to argue on something, you chopped her hand. I'm not concerned too much about the right side, but more about the left one. Because you show us a little bit of the thumb, a tiny bit of the knuckles, and that's it. I would have loved to see the whole hand, or you crop it a bit more, as much as you cropped on the right side, and then your girl happens to be in the center. Or... All these comments though, I appreciate that you're capturing a young child and whoever ever tried to capture a young child will know that it's, it can be a nightmare. It's very tricky because how can you get their attention? They're moving all over the place. Uh, or she's quite, uh, she's, she's really a cutie here and she's kind of a, a, a real good model because I don't know how much this is staged, but it probably is. Um, regarding the post-production though, uh, I love the fact, I, I, I love that of uh, this red saturation, uh, that reminds me of uh, one of my um, one of my own, if I were there to show you uh, that when I was part of my Cityscape uh, and it was uh, the red, you see, so that reminds me a bit of what I've done on uh, this one. So um, yeah, interesting, um, interesting edit. However, uh, I don't have, as usual, Mario, you didn't give me the EXIF data. Every week I ask you for the EXIF data, Mario. Please, please give me the EXIF data because I want to know how you shot it. Um, I believe the blur is done in post-production. Uh, you didn't have that blur in your uh, exporter. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is um, that here, uh, we can see how it was um, it was sharp here and I think you tried to blur all around uh, covering a bit here and you didn't do uh, you didn't get too close to the hand because probably the blur ratio was picking up some of the uh, some of the white was covering the um, the lines of, uh, of her arm and hand so that's probably why you didn't do it um, and here we can see it just went over uh, the uh, Lover. So, yes, about the edits, I'm not sure. I love the fact that you kept uh, the red color like this and uh, the rest in black and white. I totally love it. I love the expression on the girl. I love the riff, the um, the spark in uh, the sparkle in her eyes. Um, yeah, I, I love a lot of things about this one. I would have slightly done differently. Um, and about the edits, yeah. Um, we need to, uh, to do a bit more work on this one, but I, um, I, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a street photography. It has a street photography feeling to it for some reason. Next one. Uh, that's a new, uh, a new submitter as well. Uh, Russell Levy. Um, well, I like the subject. Uh, I play guitar myself and I love the shape of guitars. Uh, they are very sensual, very feminine, uh, absolutely love it. And the only thing I would say on this one is wrong aperture. So uh, with, okay, that's a 50, uh, a nifty 50, 1.8 Mark II, it's like mine, uh, and shot at 3.5. What I noticed though is that I don't know how you actually focused on it because the ground, as you can see here, is pretty sharp. But as soon as we hit the guitar, for some reason, things are getting bad in terms of blur. So everything is blurred from pretty much here, uh, the 12th fret, uh, all the way to, um, to, the, to the head of the guitar. So I'm not 
I'm not quite sure about that one. Um, just technically speaking, the the whole the whole framing, I, I quite like it. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think I do. Um, I, I like the subject. I love the subject. I like the fact that it's in monochrome. It's just yeah, not sharp enough uh, for me. But I quite like it. And I actually invite you to uh, play around with a shadow of guitar as well. Uh, that could be interesting to do. So, um, PM this week. What PM has sent us? Okay, uh, he's his niece's uh, fourth birthday party. Um, it's white balance. Okay, nice frame added using the Snap C app on iPad. Um, okay, so I know that he didn't, because he used that app, he lost all the EXIF data. Um, I tell you what, I see what you did with uh, the app around the framing and the, uh, I, I, I like it, I, I give you that, I, I like it. Um, the, my problem is that, although you see the histogram on the left, right, on the right, sorry, the histogram, it doesn't show a high peak on the very, um, very far right. However, to me, it's a bit too blown out and I try, let me see if I can try to reduce it. Even the highlights, right? I'm gaining a bit, but I can't save it. It's extremely bright. And that's where you want a diffuser. And by diffuser, I mean, if you've got a reflector, uh, you remember my reflector, it's a five, five in one reflector and they've got, uh, it's basically a, a disc and then you, you remove the layers. And once you remove all the layers, what you end up having is a diffuser. So it's a, it's an 80 centimeter uh, disc that I have. And that's what you want to use um, when you do this kind of shot. Because you put it above them, the light is still going on them through the diffuser and gives you a not so harsh light on them and uh, avoid to have those very, very pale white um, skin as well on the, on, on the arm. But I, um, other than that, um, other than that, I like it. Uh, maybe here, the we can see the brick wall through what might be kind of a window in that um, in that air castle. Uh, I would have somehow cloned it or clog it, uh, whatever you want to call it, but remove that white bit because it's my eyes are getting uh, right there. Uh, other than that, I yeah, I quite I quite like the fact you shot it low. Uh, always trying to shoot low, like I said the last week as well about the dog. And this week you have to, you actually did it uh, low with the kid at the same uh, level as they are. Uh, I quite, I quite like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. I like it. So if it wasn't blown and if the tiny bit at the top uh, wasn't like this, I uh, I would love it more. So then. We are going into a uh, specific category this week for some reason. I didn't put in a theme, but it seems very fashionable lately. Uh, and, um, I'm tackling as well this, um, this type of uh, photography, which is boudoir artistic nude glamour. So for all the prudes who might be uh, watching and listening uh, today, um, well, I hope you have it for your money because uh, those shots are, uh, they're not crude, they nice, they um, showcase the beauty of uh, the feminine, uh, the female body and uh, the feminine curves and um, that's all there is to it. So if you are shocked, if you don't like it, if you would like me to put a uh, not for work, uh, not safe for work logo or watermark or uh, stamp on this video, Surely I won't do it because that's against my religion. Swallow it. So that being said, um, PM. Okay, so um, I think I had uh, the chance to see that similar uh, picture of your model uh, on Pictography Corner. Uh, and I see that you played with a uh, Snapseed app uh, to add a bit more texture to it. I quite like it. I don't know the app. Uh, but I like it. It seems to be similar to what you can do with uh, Photoshop uh, Express on mobile devices. Um, I quite, I quite like, like the texture of it. Uh, it's just 
something that bothers me a bit um, is when you have right here on Earth finger, the texture changes. It, it, it becomes uh, many dots, kind of a dirt uh, aspect to it. And it bothers me to have right there on that finger because you see the, the rest of the skin was using something different, another type of, of pattern, and that disturbs me a bit on that finger. It looks, I don't know, it looks dirty for some reason over there, and that bothers me. Uh, and I don't know how much control you have over this pattern on this um, on this app, but you see, somehow, I would have, uh, we can see on, the, on her face, right? She's got the same pattern of dots and dirt. I would have loved that all over her body, and keep the other pattern on the rest of uh, the wall like you did and on the front here. Uh, just, yeah, I don't know. And for some reason here on the shoulder, um, the shoulder, there's not enough contrast. Uh, uh, we're losing the line of her body uh, and making a difference between the background and the foreground. So when you play with this type of uh, texture, Make sure that you don't lose the body. You see here uh, her arm around closer to her breast. You can see the shadow and the line of her of her arm, and that really looks really really nice. I love the shadow over here as well on the armpit. So really, you keep the shape uh, of of the limb here. But when you go on the outside line, you see what I mean. Is you, you actually lose it, and that that bothers me a bit. So I either you go for it and you blur it even more. Uh, so it's like uh, almost like on the on the on the right side where you have her hair, where it's kind of uh, a mixture. Uh, it's all blurred together, uh, but on her arm, it's it's not done enough. So either it's too much or it's not done enough uh, for my liking. Uh, other than that, I uh, quite like the shot. And to be honest, I think it makes the shot more interesting than the the, um, the, the initial uh, exposure. That's uh, that's my feeling to it. So this one, another one from PM, he used the sign. However, uh, you know what, my, my advice on this one, use, use that pattern, use it to, put, to add some texture to the wall, and I quite like it. And in fact, I'm gonna to try to figure out a way to do the same thing in post-production using um, uh, Photoshop, adding some texture to your background when your backdrop is not that nice. So I, I, I quite like it. However, what I do not like is uh, when you go on the hair and I, you go on the face. And look, when you go on the face, it looks like she is uh, she is hurt. It looks like uh, almost like a, a broken doll. Uh, look on the nose here; it bothers me a bit because there's some white bits. So, and here it looks like she's got spots for some reason. Um, she's got leprosy or something. Um, that that bothers me a bit. Uh, so yeah, on this one I'm not so keen. I, I quite like the exposure. Uh, I quite like it a lot. I love the angle. Um, and you see, it, it's actually do I like the fact that she's looking right and there's not much space? Actually, I do. And the the only reason why I do is because of her long hair uh, on the left side and maybe her arm. But I wonder, you know, I wonder if what if. I actually let me remove the uh, the constraint here. If I keep it like this, but uh, I don't want to cut too much. But this. Okay, why do I think of this? Surprisingly, I kind of like this uh, a bit more. The arm bothers me here for some reason. So do I actually need to go even more uh, and go like this? Yeah. You see, it's a bit centered to my liking, but I quite, I quite like it. Um, yeah, I quite like it. So put your comment uh, down below, uh, PM. I want to know what you think uh, of that. Um, I don't know. I, um, I don't know, but I really prefer the other one. I prefer this one. Uh, Next, Eric Gordon. Uh, okay, Eric, uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, not totally love it, love the eyes, uh, love the composition, uh, obviously, uh, love the subject. 
not sure, quite sure how much edit you uh, you did uh, simply because I would have cleaned that a bit more here she's got a cut uh, that I would have uh, repaired um, here she's got a hair over here that I would have repaired uh, here it's a little bit uh, I think it's got to do with mascara of some sort I would have uh, repaired that and um, here I would have cleaned she, she had a she had a blemish here I would have, I would have cleaned on that and while looking at this level it's actually quite nice but when you start looking at uh, a bit closer uh, I'm not sure about the foundation and the makeup at this stage uh, because it adds kind of a powdery uh, effect to her skin so uh, I don't know maybe uh, maybe softening the skin a bit more I'm not talking about plastifying it right you you still want to some texture to your skin but um, yeah uh, and maybe maybe here at the back as well that would that would actually help uh, this she it's a it, she's a brunette and um, I'm I'm not quite sure of uh, of the hair on the on the back they're quite a bit dark so maybe uh, you know brightening this a bit more uh, I don't know maybe just softening it would that would actually help and what I like is that she seems to have uh, some freckles that which is something that I quite like in women in women uh, so um, yeah no I uh, I quite like it. It's just to, it's some more work needs to be done on the on the edit, and even here, you know, add a bit more color to her ears um, because it kind of matches the eye, the, the white of her eyes, uh, and I'd like to see it more uh, orange or skin color rather than being uh, bright like this. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, no, I, I I like it. I like the shot, and uh, how was shot? Thirty, okay, uh, two point eight. Really, uh, really good, really, really good exposure here. Next one, we're going to random, random photo. Um, okay, random. What do I think of that? Uh, I, th I like the shot, right? If we take the model, I like it. I really do. Uh, Two point eight. Okay. Um, nifty fifty. Yeah. What disturbs me is the bars, the the, the bed board. Uh, that bothers me a bit. I'm not quite sure of them. The um, vertical line, she's got long hair, and to me that's a bit disruptive. I don't need to see a pattern here. Uh, I could have done with the wall without uh, without the bars. Um, yeah, I uh, I could I could have I um I like it, but would have been better with the um, with the plain wall. I would say. Other than that, I like it. I like I like the edit. So you see, Eric, what I was talking about the edit. Uh, it's we can still see the texture on her skin, uh, but there's no there's no defect, right? It's uh, this still it's still natural. It's very natural, but it just helps. It's soften it, and uh, yeah. Okay, another one from Vandom Photo. Um, Random, you, you see what I said about the uh, the board, the headboard. Um, actually, here I, I, I like it. For some reason, I like it. I'm simply because it got this round shape, which matches uh, the buttocks, uh, and really, really nice bottom. I must say. Um, one thing in edit, though, I know that you know um, you you like uh, natural lines, natural marks, and so on. I'm not quite sure about that blemish right here. For some reason, I went straight to it because she's got nice skin all over, on all over the body except that dot. It might be a beauty spot or some sort, but I would have, I would have cleaned that. I would have removed that. The line here um, that we see, she's got a thong tan line. Yeah, okay. It's it's you. It's you. You 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 like keeping the 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 the, the real lines. Uh, they don't bother me that much here. But just uh, that, and um, yeah, maybe a little bit more cleaning. Like here, there's two dots. I would have, I would have removed that, uh, and that would be it. So that, the two dots here, and um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, I quite, I, I quite like the shot. Um, I yeah, I quite like it. it. Would even deserve a black and white. How does that work with black and white? It would, uh, yeah working on it but it would have, it would have worked as well so um yeah nice shot 
Okay, and another one. So this is our last exposure from a random photo. Uh, lighting condition I like, uh, the pose I like. Although that being said, the expression on her face I do not like. So, and I don't know, the playing with the gamepad, the uh, PS3 uh, gamepad, yes, but then nobody's going to believe that she's playing with one finger like this, uh, or she's bored. Uh, yeah, she's probably bored because the dude might be in the uh, having a shower of some sort. Um, I don't know. There's something about her face that I don't like. It's not her face per se but it's the expression on her face I'm not quite sure uh, it's I don't know she's she's she looks annoyed so that might be the message that might be the message that she's annoyed she's uh, she's bored uh, she wants to leave she's not happy here and she's just questioning um, whether she should leave right now uh, other than that I quite like it I like the background I like the colors um, one thing though is for some reason the pattern at the back, right? I love the tapestry. I, I think the tapestry matches the uh, the curves of the of the headboard. Uh, just one thing, I don't know what's in the back here on the left. Uh, it's darkened. It should not bother me, but it kind of does because it breaks the pattern. Uh, so I I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that's the only thing that bothers me a bit. Um, maybe if the whole thing was darkened, you know, on that side, but we know it's where the flash is from. Uh, other than that, the skin tone, I, I like it. I like the uh, the the makeup. I um, yeah, I like a lot of thing about this one, but it disturbs me as well. So um, if you got some history, what kind of message you wanted to uh, to to put in this exposure, uh, I like to hear about it. So guys, this is it. This is a bit more than thirty minutes, and I try to keep them as short as possible while giving you as much feedback as I can. This week, so I think there were some really, really interesting uh, shots overall. Um, yeah, so if I had to pick a favorite of this week, I think I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna pick one favorite, and uh, we're gonna see. Well, you know what? I think this week, despite everything, despite the fact that I love Eric's work here, uh, and what I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say, and despite the fact that you guys decided to send me some uh, boudoir sh uh, shots that I totally love, so keep them coming. Maybe we could do one theme uh, sometime. Um, my favorite one for some reason because it puts a smile on my face, and this is gonna be Mario. Mario, despite everything that I've said about this exporter, I think it's my favorite one of the week. The one that doesn't let me speechless. None of them actually did, but this one, it just put a smile on my face and it makes me think of my daughter and uh, she's currently sleeping. And uh, yeah, that's, um, I love this one. So on this bombshell, guys, thank you so much for your submission again. Uh, I look forward to reading your uh, feedback under, in, uh, under the video in the comments, please. And uh, don't forget, uh, this is Monday. So Wednesday, the submission open again. Actually, what I'm going to do now, because I, but it's a bit disturbing having this Wednesday thing. So from now on, submission will start on Monday and we do Monday to Sunday. So that's how we're gonna do it from now on. Doesn't mean that the video will be posted on Sunday night, it will be posted on Monday, but at least the submission open on Monday so it makes things easier for everyone to remember when you can submit. So um, this is it. And until next time, this is Tom Miggett saying, if you like it, well, capture it.